This is the final chapter of our online course, RFEM 6 for Beginners. This video shows the printout report and the documentation of the structural analysis. The printout report in RFEM 6 has been extensively revised and updated with new functions. We can create a new printout report either in the data navigator or by using the button in the toolbar. The printout report that we just created appears in the new dialog box as usual in the list on the left, and we can also rename it in the upper field of the window. The tree structure in the center of the window, which has the same appearance as the data navigator, provides an overview of all data that can be included in the printout report. Additional options, such as numbering or descriptions of selected navigator entries, can be found in the right side of the dialog box. Another new item here is the copy option. We can copy the desired entries from the list to customize the printout report. In our case, we leave everything as default and then click on Save and Display to display the created report. In the new dialog box, you can now find the table of contents in the usual tree structure and the generated printout report in the center. You can access the selected chapter by clicking any of the entries in the table of contents. However, there is no graphical data available here as it has to be entered separately. To import it, we close the printout report and set the desired view of our structural model. It is important to note that the graphic is transferred in mirror image, so we turn off unwanted elements. In our case, we only want to insert the model graphic, so we turn off all loads and results. Optionally, we can add dimensions as shown here. When we are satisfied with the graphical result, we open the Print menu. Here, you can directly print the current graphic, create a PDF file, add it to the printout report, and much more. Before the image is imported into the report, we get a preview. Another innovation in RFEM 6 is that you can integrate a 3D PDF file in the printout report. In addition to the information on the usual image, which can be moved, zoomed, and rotated, this image includes the 3D information. In this dialog box, you can set further options for this graphic, such as resolution, scale, text size, and more. If we are satisfied with the settings, we can include the selected graphic in the printout report by confirming this dialog box. As an alternative, we can activate the multi-print option to import several graphics at once with all the settings defined. We notice immediately that new categories appear in the form of tabs where we can select the desired graphics. We skip the first two tabs and go directly to the Results category. We select the desired results as shown here. We can also select the loads or combinations for which these results should be displayed. In addition, you can find the results of the steel design in the Add-ons tab. To import the selected graphics, we confirm this dialog box by clicking either OK or Save and Display to view them in the report. You can see immediately that picture symbols now appear in the table of contents where graphics have been inserted. The menu bar provides additional options such as report language, cover sheets, page setup, and more. The finished file can now be printed or exported as a PDF file.
We are now at the end of our tutorial series. We hope you have had fun learning new things and we look forward to your feedback. You can also download the free 90-day RFEM 6 trial version to discover all new features. Goodbye until the next tutorial series about structural analysis which will be even more fun. Till next time.